Hi guys, my name is Emily and I have just collected my A-level results in English Literature and Language, ICT, Business Studies and Media Studies. I uh, took four A-levels and I'm going to go collect my results. I am off to higher education in September. I've got my acceptance letter and I've got my place, so I'm so excited. I actually have a YouTube channel myself. I basically mainly film a bit of study videos and lifestyle videos. And yeah, I'm really excited to open my A-level results as, to be honest, it's just been a very stressful year. I didn't sleep well last night because I was very anxious. However, I woke up this morning being a little bit more optimistic, so yeah. This is an interesting new angle. So I passed my test. But this isn't today's video actually. Um it's day four results day. It's tomorrow the tenth. I'm going to school at nine AM. I'm not looking forward to it because I have to get up and be at school for nine. I'm actually really excited for it to get my results because it's kind of closure in a way for exams I hadn't done. But yeah, I'm picking up my results tomorrow and hopefully I'll be on to higher education. What's quite nice is I've got an unconditional for the place I'm going for. So I'm quite reassured that I am going to where I've applied for. So I'm going to bring you along with me to collect my results tomorrow. For now, it's day before. I'm probably just going to relax, do a bit of driving because I've just passed. And get an early night's sleep, of course. Because I've got school tomorrow, which feels really weird to say. I've not actually said that in about three months. So I bring you along on the ride and yeah. So I'm probably going to film next tomorrow when I wake up nice and early for results day. I am so tired. I am literally running about four hours sleep. So this is going to be fun. So I've got my results and I'm going to be doing a live opening because nothing can go wrong, I don't think. <laughs> Um, I have got an email from UCAS saying I've gotten to my firm choice, which is good, even though I'm not going to uni. I've gotten to my course that I've applied for anyway, and I've got an email to confirm that, so yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. I, I passed everything. I'm not too sure how. And I'm off to uni. Um, I've got an A star media, an A star. Okay, I've got a C in business studies, a C in ICT, which I'm actually quite surprised about because I was predicted a lot lower. And English literature and language, I got a D. <laughs> but at least I got a grade. Um, English Literature and Language was actually quite hard for me. So yeah, I got A star C, C, D. So yeah, I'm off to uni, which is very weird to say. But basically, I am really happy with my grades. I struggled quite badly with my mental health over year 12 and 13. And to be honest, to get an A star media, I wasn't expecting. I was thinking I'd be getting C, C, C. C. So, um... I'm actually really happy with my grades. You've also got your A-levels today or your ASs or whatever you got today. Good luck. I am absolutely so proud of you no matter what happens. And yeah, if you're collecting your GCSE results on the 12th, good luck. And as someone who's been through GCSEs, don't panic. Because GCSEs now, I've realised, don't really mean anything. Like... I haven't been asked my GCSEs when applying for part-time jobs or anything. It's good to have, but it's not the end of the world if you don't do well at all. But yeah, I'm, I'm really chuffed with my results. Um, I wasn't expecting it. In fact, the head teacher of my school actually came up to me and said about how amazing my results were. Bearing in mind, I didn't take any exams. <laughs> I was in three or four lockdowns and self-taught myself a whole A-level syllabus. I am really happy and now it's time I guess to burn my books. I am so shocked as well I passed English because I don't think I was going to pass it to be honest. I struggled so bad with English. 
because I took literature and language, it was like two A levels. So I took media, business, IT, and English literature and language. However, it was basically the equivalent of five A levels because English literature and language was so heavy content. So it is about half ten. I read my results. I think I'm gonna go for a nap because I am running on about two hours sleep. I didn't sleep well last night. I stayed up till about three o'clock overthinking things. So this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna go for a nap. I normally sleep about 10 hours a night. So running on two hours isn't the best. And now I am off with some celebratory drinks. 